the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Heaven does not answer your prayer. It is the God of the universe, the God of the Bible. You pray to angels, you pray to heaven. That's not the key to answer prayer. Return back to that place of genuine intimacy through prayer. That you can take a fast to pray. And they say, what is the prayer request? And you say, it is God. It is God. I love you. And I just want to know you. Ah, just like that. Is it that you don't have prayer requests? I do. But I love you. I love you with all my heart. I came to let you know that there are many things that try to take your place, but you remain God and God alone. And that sound is rising to heaven. And while he's hearing you, he's taking the prayer request of someone who has been fasting for days and gives you as a gift. And you leave the place of prayer with things you did not pray for. But love brought it to you. Believe me, this is something I know what I'm, I'm talking about. There are times you don't even know what you need. I need you, oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. Come bless me now, my Savior. There are times I go to God and I say, Lord, I'm, I know that I'm a leader. You have trusted me with responsibilities. But this is not about things. It is you that I want. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my only in all. I'm seeking you as a precious jewel Not to give up, I'll be a fall You are my all in all Listen to me When it becomes about him His name and his glory Not just needs You have found the key He said, listen, let me tell you if you have the hand of God in your life, you will see power, you will see grace, but you will remain a stranger. But when you become the object of his obsession, you will have things you did not even pray for. Love. Love. There are times that you go to the place and then when you come out of that presence he will not disappoint you many people call him names on stage that he does not they don't call him with those names in the secret imagine a man and his wife i always give this analogy he doesn't call the wife any nice names then suddenly just because there are visitors he starts calling her sweetheart wonderful she looks at him in a funny way when did this one start it's not a name we're used to this is what many people do on stage they come and say as a king rock of ages and you can sense the strangeness you can sense the distance you know this is not a name they are not used to calling him return to the place of intimacy where he becomes your obsession he becomes your pursuit not power not miracles him that i seek you with all my heart 
I will seek you in the morning. I have learned to walk in your ways. For step by step you lead me. And I will follow you all of my day. Number two, very quickly, we are going to pray. The second dimension to prayer is as a spiritual strategy for obtaining promises and making requests. God did not leave us in the dark as to the possibility of obtaining promises and making requests. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 33. Hebrews 11, 33. Who through faith, the Bible says, subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises. We can obtain promises in the place of prayer. Mark chapter 11 from verse 23 and 24. Jesus is teaching on prayer. And he said, verse 24 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, it says, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, 24, it says, Believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. We can obtain promises. We can make requests in the place of prayer. Jonah chapter 2. When I was studying this, I started laughing. I said, Jonah, what an interesting man. Jonah gave us a revelation that you can pray anywhere. The hardest place to pray. I'm not sure there is anywhere as difficult as the belly of the fish. There is no space yet he prayed and God had it. So Jonah's life is a, is a big revelation for us. You don't have any excuse as far as convenience is concerned to pray. Jonah prayed in the belly of the fish. Jonah chapter 2 and verse 2. Very quickly. I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. Jonah is speaking. And he heard me out of the belly of hell, cried I, and thou heardest my voice. Verse 3. For thou had cast me into the deep and in the midst of the seas, and the floods come past me about. Thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Uh-huh. It says, then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again towards thy holy temple. We're reading down to 9 or 10. Next verse, please. Verse 5. The waters compass me about, even to the soul. The depth close me round about, and weeds were wrapped about my head. I went down to the bottom of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet, thou hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. He's praying now. Verse 7. He says, When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came in unto thee, into thy holy temple, from the belly of the fish. Verse 8. He says, They that observe lying vanities forget their own mercy. Verse 9. But I will sacrifice unto thee the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. The result, verse 10. And the Lord spake unto the fish. God doesn't speak to men alone. He speaks to things. And the Lord spake unto my trouble. Ah, that a man was praying. And God now said, fish, keep that scripture, please. The Lord spake unto the fish and it vomited out Jonah upon dry ground. When the creator speaks, everything he created has the capacity to hear him. But it does not just hear him because he wants to speak. In the belly of the fish, a man showed you can change situations. I can't do anything about the fish, but I can interact with the creator. He can tell that fish to do something it must obey. Prayer is powerful. Listen, when you pray, 
there are times that it's not just the mountain you speak to the mountain is bigger than you so you speak to the one who is bigger than the mountain and he will do the speaking to the mountain the bible says god spoke to the fish i wonder what he told the fish but one thing i know is that the fish had and the fish vomited jonah on dry ground it's been three days he stinketh and he says roll away the stone you have requested and now you will see me as the resurrection and the life and he said lazarus you know why he called his name if he said come forth every dead person would have come out he had to pick the one because that word was going to enter the realm of the spirit if he just said come forth that would be rapture already immediately immediately so he had to pick the name listen do you know why i'm telling you this that means god is aware of every situation he can call it by name and instruct it and it must obey retrogression the master speaks he says go to a street that divides you will see a coat that no man has touched he said lose it if any man dares to ask you don't say you are losing it you don't have that power tell them the master have need of it we can obtain promises petitions can be made in the place of prayer Luke chapter 18 the Bible says he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray by the way I, I didn't want to distract the service but let's just appreciate Pastor Jerry amazing hallelujah God bless you we'll have some time to greet him after the service praise the name of the Lord very powerful promises obtained in the place of prayer john chapter 16 and verse 24 jesus made it because it means that you are declaring self-sufficiency petitions ask and you shall receive that your joy may be complete now let me share with you a mystery james chapter 4 james chapter 4 please apostle james is teaching us something very powerful here here's what he says from whence cometh war and fighting among you it says come they not hence even from the lost that war in your members we're reading to verse 3 verse 2 it says ye lost that means ye desire strongly and have not you even go to the extent of killing because you desire to have and cannot what obtain ye fight and war yet ye have not and the simple reason why you have not is that you ask not in other words he's saying why all the jealousy why all the bitterness i am a giver to all men why do you have to go to the extent of making trouble and fighting and being jealous whereas all that you needed to do was to ask this is powerful that means the reason why when your brother is increasing when your sister is going forward are we together when someone's business is thriving it is not a cause for jealousy and pain he's saying it is unnecessary i am a giver to all who ask that the same energy it takes to fight and quarrel and backbite and be jealous is the same energy that can be invested in asking and you will also receive there is a side effect to not praying your life will be full of jealousy and envy and bitterness you know people that do not pray because they do not have results and the moment you they do not have results the side effect is jealousy bitterness and james is teaching us that there is a structure in the kingdom for all to have their prayers answered Is she the only one who will have a job? Why five jobs when I have the only one? Do you know, if I was one of the brothers of Joseph, I wouldn't be angry with Joseph. I will go to the father. Is that true? You gave him the coat of many colors. I know you are father to us all. 
where is my own version of the court it's very simple so that you now allow the father prove whether it's favoritism or not but they turned and threw joseph inside a well ye have not because ye ask not ye have not because ye ask not so i can ask in prayer and i can receive this is a very powerful message of hope do not underestimate what can come into your life when you know how to pray supernatural dimensions of blessings and promises when you know how to pray hallelujah now let's finish up that scripture verse 3 is going to lead us into something very quickly it says ye ask and receive not because you ask amiss aha uh -huh. james is introducing something now that there is a possibility to still pray and yet your prayer is not answered listen carefully so we have two things we are dealing with here number one is prayerlessness that prayerlessness can bring bitter envy jealousy and the rest but it is possible to still pray and that there is a condition upon which your prayer would not be answered he called it praying amiss that ye may consume it upon your lust praying amiss when you do not have i wrote here you are liable to be bitter and then the bible says you have not because you ask not it says ask and you shall receive and if you do not receive it is because you have asked amiss you know what it means to ask amiss it means to ask with wrong motives it means to ask out of selfishness and unrighteous agenda first john chapter 5 please and verse 14 first john chapter 5 and verse 14 let's hurry up we have to pray the bible says and this is the confidence koinonia look up that we have in him that if we ask anything condition according to his will he heareth us so if it looks like your prayer is not being heard and answered you need to examine the concept of the will of god over that matter i wish i had time for us to deal with the will of god john chapter 9 from verse 31 the b part very quickly please help us john chapter 9 it says now we know that god heareth not sinners but if any man be a worshiper of god and doeth his will him he heareth so we see that there is a relationship between answered prayer and the will of god believers pay attention just because you are making sounds in jesus name does not mean the prayer will be answered that there is a condition there is a verification process in the will in the realm of the spirit for your prayer to be answered if your prayer is not consistent with the will of god the bible says it is possible that your prayer will not be answered ephesians chapter 5 and verse 17 paul was mentoring the church in ephesus teaching them to walk circumspectly and he says wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of the lord is that means the will of the lord can be understood colossians 1 verse 9 paul was praying over the church in Colossae and he said for this cause we also since the day we heard it do not cease to pray for you listen and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will and then in all wisdom and spiritual understanding the knowledge of his will the knowledge of his will look up please there are two biblical platforms for knowing and understanding the will of God two biblical platforms number one is the character of Scripture the character of God as revealed in Scripture can help us know the will of God it is not God's desire to allow his will to remain a mystery he wants us to know his will are we together now the will of God revealed in scripture the will of God revealed in scripture I give you an example 
1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4. Please give it to us. The Bible says that God will have all men to be saved and to come into the knowledge of the truth. That means you don't have to ask, is it the will of God to save sinners? Scripture has revealed his will eternally as far as the salvation of men is concerned and the maturity of the believers to come into the knowledge of the truth. That means every time you find yourself saving sinners or equipping believers you can be certain that you are in the will of god the will of god has revealed from scripture are we together yeah. we use scripture as the primary basis for learning the will of god number two the will of god was revealed in jesus christ jesus came as the expression the the in the image of the invisible god he was an expression of the will of god that means you understudy jesus as a case study and he becomes a revelation of the will of god everything jesus did and lived for is an expression of god's passion everything jesus did not do and live for is an expression of that which is not consistent with the will of the father listen carefully when you learn jesus and when you study jesus you grow into the knowledge experientially of the will of god what did jesus do jesus never saw sinners and left them there that means it is the will of god that continually we be passionate about the global harvest every time people came to jesus he showed them kindness he showed them benevolence when he saw the hungry he fed them the will of god revealed in christ are we together now the will of god revealed in christ the will of god revealed in christ can i tell you this you can use scripture and the revelation of jesus to judge every other platform that communicates the will of god that includes prophecy that includes whatever kind of supernatural manifestation you have the right based on the authority of scripture and the revelation of jesus as revealed again from scripture to judge every prophecy once it is not consistent with the universal character of the word that means the way the word behaves you know one of the reasons why we study scripture so that we can have the mind of christ what is the mind of christ god's way of doing things this becomes the key to managing the excesses that come with the charismatic move of god because the charismatic move of god generally comes with a baggage of excesses things that are spiritual but they are not consistent with god's modus operandi don't say it does not matter there is a difference between prophetic act or prophetic action and nonsense it's consistent with the will of god so when i pray and speak to situations and circumstances i'm not babbling we see that jesus spoke to not just people he spoke to things so it's consistent with his character the will of god must be known to give you confidence in prayer if you do not know the will of god concerning a matter it is going to be difficult especially as we approach the third key everyone say the will of god now romans chapter 12 and verse 2 talks about something interesting i don't want to delve into it so much but then it says do not be conformed to this world is the word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with this age it says but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of god now there are all kinds of theological expressions when it has to do with the will of god but primarily there are two number one is called the revealed will of god or what we call the perfect will of god that which is consistent with his predeterminate counsel and then number two there is what we call the permissive will of god actions that were not originally designed by him but are still within the boundary of righteousness the boundary of god's character and directly exalt christ there are things many times you find in scripture the bible says, but from the beginning it was not so there are many things that was not so from the beginning however 
still engaging them is within you are not outside of the jurisdiction of God's character now let me give you an example and please don't feel bad about this an example respectfully speaking now not to create controversy is an issue of remarriage say for instance a man gets married and then he loses a loved one and now he has to marry again I do not believe that it may have it may be God's original idea to have in your lifetime maybe multiple persons but now you are in a situation are we together now that person has passed on to glory and now based on the provisions that scripture allows like Abraham remember the Bible does not recognize Keturah as far as the blessing is concerned but he still married her and the Bible never said it was sin Sarah was the one connected to him as far as covenant is concerned is that true but a time came by reason of age Sarah died and they saw the man and they needed someone to be by his side to comfort him so a suggestion came to find Keturah it was not God's original idea but it was also not out of the will of God it was the permissive will of God are we together now he married Keturah and he had other children with Keturah. It was not God's original idea that Israel would have an earthly king. I hope you know that. It was a demand that came from them. And God said, all right, fine. Yet, it was still a prophet of God that always anointed the kings. And they came from God. Yet, it was not God's original idea. Are we together now? It was not God's original idea that Moses would carve the rock that would have the commandments by himself. God came by himself originally and carved the rock. But Moses in anger, legitimate anger, to the madness of the people he was leading, he granted it into powder and forced them to drink it. And God said, let's go back to the mountain. This time around, I will only write, you will carve it by yourself. Are we together? Yes. There is the perfect will of God. You see why Jesus was amazing? Because he came as an expression. Everything God wanted was what he was doing. Can you imagine that? God wanted to heal the sick. Jesus was his thoughts, the living logos, the will of God in action. He said, in whom I am well pleased because of his level of alignment to my perfect will. I do not believe it was God's design for Saul to live his life causing all those trouble before turning around to come and get born again. However, eventually God found him and he had to go through about 18 years in the wilderness of Arabia. Finally, he comes to become the apostle of the Lamb. Here's how it works. The plans of God can change, but the purposes of God are eternal. You have to know this when it has to do with the will of God. The plans of God change because it is men dependent. The plans of God depend on the cooperation of men and systems to happen. And there are times those systems will not cooperate accurately with God. So he will have to route another strategy. It was possible for Mary to say, I'm not ready to donate my womb. The mother of Jesus on earth will no longer be called Mary. The Holy Ghost will still go around to look for another virgin again. She said, be it unto me. There was no prophecy in scripture that the mother of Jesus will be Mary. In fact, there was no prophecy in scripture that the name of the one who will betray Jesus. There is even no prophecy that this one who comes from heaven will be called Jesus. No. No. Jesus was an earthly name that was given to him. The name the angel said they would call him is Emmanuel. Did they ever call him Emmanuel? There are footballers today called Jesus. There are Jewish people today called Jesus. His original name is the word of God. The rider upon the horse, having a name that is written on his thigh, his lap. His name is the word of God. Are we together? Yes. 
We mentioned that name Jesus today so that creation will know that the Lord and Christ we're talking about is the one who walked upon the earth bearing that name Jesus. That same Jesus has God exalted today to be both Lord and Christ. This is why when he says in my name, he does not mean in pronouncing J-E-S-U-S. He means with the consciousness of my authority. We mention the name Jesus so that people will know that the one we have placed our faith on is Jesus. Are we blessed? That's why you can find out that a man of God can stand and without saying anything, the demons went. And you're saying he didn't mention, I mean, you didn't say Jesus here, yeah, the person just fell down. No. Jesus does not just mean pronouncing J-E-S-U-S. He's walking with the consciousness of that authority. The name is an office. But why do we call the name Jesus? Because he's the one who walked upon the earth and we are directing people to know. There are many that claim to be Lord. There are many that claim to be Christ. But the Lord and Christ we are speaking about is Jesus in fact when he asked peter who do men say that i am he never said you are jesus he said thou art christ the son of the living god he didn't say you are wrong he said flesh and blood has not revealed this to you blind Bartimaeus never called him jesus he said thou son of david he never said you are wrong is the reason why we shout jesus 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 and nothing happens because we are just calling an empty name that anyone on earth can claim. There is no revelation behind it. For many years I called that name and demons still oppressed me. Are we together? I'm not saying to stop calling the name Jesus. But it is more than that name. But we will keep shouting the name so that they will know that it is Jesus. Which one? The son of the living God. Bread of heaven sent down from glory Many things you are on earth A holy king, a carpenter You are the living God The awesome ruler Gentile redeemer ah. God with us, the living truth, and what a friend we have in you. You are the living God, say, Jesus, Jesus. Listen, that's what we call you. Manger born, but on a tree, you died to save humanity. Oh, 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 oh. That one who was in heaven called the word of God, when he came to the earth, they named him Jesus. And that same Jesus today has become Lord and Christ. We know the will of the Father by looking at that one called Jesus. is an expression of the will of God. Let's touch on the last one and then we'll pray. What is the last dimension of prayer? Do not forget three dimensions. One, fellowship and growth. Number two, obtaining promises and making requests. And then I add that are consistent with the will of God. Number three, what is the third dimension of prayer? The assignment of prayer number three is a platform to make decrees and spiritual legislation. Pay attention. Decrees and spiritual legislation. Job 22 and verse 28. Job 22 and verse 28. Thou shall also decree a thing and it shall be established not unto everybody unto the one who decrees it the bible did not say you shall decree a thing and it shall be established to them it shall be established to thee and the light shall shine upon thy ways 
thou shalt decree a thing thou shalt decree a thing do you know what it means to decree to decree means to make it an ordinance to set it as a law that cannot be violated it says where the word of a king is there is power there are three things that make a king a king number one his words number two his crown number three his scepter if the king does not have these three things he cannot be called a king again his word his crown his scepter and so the bible says where the word of a king is there is power numbers 14 and verse 28 please read with me if you are a christian ready one to read say unto them as truly as i live saith the lord as ye have spoken in my ears so will i do the bible says do not say before an angel i made a mistake because they have an assignment to execute what you say as you have spoken in my ears as you have decreed so will i do unto you decrees are powerful we legislate and we create realities in this kingdom on the power of decrees that means you set in motion things that have no business happening to happen in the name of jesus christ i decree i declare you say my path is as a shining light it shines ever brighter in the name of jesus that every obstacle that stands before me clears you are not just speaking brothers and sisters hear me prayer is a platform to make decrees prophetic decrees are powerful they can shift mountains romans chapter 4 and verse 17 romans chapter 4 and verse 17 as it is written look up please i have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed and even god who quickened the dead and does what call it those things which be not as though they were so i can make decrees and call things into my life favor open doors speed help us i can command them to arise by decrees one scripture to demonstrate the power of decrees ezekiel 37. Hmm. ezekiel 37 from verse 1 the hand of the lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the lord look up please and he set me down in the midst of the valley which was what full of bones bones meant that once upon a time those people were alive something happened and deteriorated them down to the point where they had become bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold they were very many in the open valley and low they were very dry very dry means that they had been there for a long time someone's life is about to change yeah. verse 3 and he said unto me son of man i want to teach you something can these bones can this situation live again and he answered lord even though i'm a prophet the difficulty in this situation i do not know if it can change only thou knowest this is a prophet who was in a vision and yet he did not even believe the possibility of that happening that's a seriously hopeless situation and then verse 4 he said unto me prophesy prophesy upon these bones prophesy upon the delay prophesy upon the retrogression not around it upon it and say unto them "O ye dry bones hear the word of the lord verse 5 and saith 
Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. Six. Now notice this for the sake of time. Did you notice that God was telling him what to say and the bones did not move? God was telling him what to say and yet the bones were acting as if he was not God talking. Verse 7. So I prophesied I was as I was commanded. I was commanded but I did the decreeing and the moment I prophesied what did not even happen for God started happening to me. When God was speaking and telling me what to say you would think the bones should just start acting. He repeated verbatim. The word confess comes from the Hebrew word homologio. It means repeat as you have heard. Repeat. The miracle did not start when Jesus was holding the bread. He gave them as they held it and as they were moving, it started multiplying. I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones... Ah, that means there is a condition where what does not look like can be aligned again at the instance of prophetic decrees the bible didn't say the bones came around they came together just because the situation looks chaotic does not mean order cannot be there you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark. You are brooding yeah. over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. Listen, give us that scripture. We're wrapping up. We have to pray. Bones came together to his bones. That means whatever leaves you is still on earth. Just because it left you does not mean it has left the earth. There is a condition where it can return, including time. Verse 8. It says, and when I behold, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them. You see how obedient those bones are? They were never told to leave. They were only told to come together. So they obeyed and stopped there. Where the decree stopped was where the miracle stopped. They were not asked to do more. The realm of the spirit is very obedient. You speak once, it happens once. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It didn't say let them say so once. Flesh came upon them. The word of God defined the limits of the miracles. The instruction was come together. And they came together and stopped there. And then the Bible says, Behold, sinews and flesh came upon them. The skin covered them. But they were, there was no breath because there was no instruction about life. The instruction was for order, not life. So just because you made decree yesterday in your health does not mean your finances will automatically answer. No. One aspect can respond to the decree but another aspect of your life is waiting for the decree built for it this is powerful next verse verse 9 then he said unto me prophesy to the wind son of man say to the wind so said the lord god come from the four winds O breath breathe upon this lane that they may live the bones did not hear again verse 10 so i prophesied as i was commanded and breath came into them and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army listen to me when the bible says we are kings and priests it is true that there is the capacity to legislate you may look small you may look frail you may look innocent you may not have the requisite level of education you may not have the requisite level of intellectual prowess but there is one thing you have you can stand in the place of priesthood like a herbalist locking yourself in a room you can start programming spiritual realities across your entire horizon and then come out and watch life aligned to the things you have spoken this is true 
the place of settlement is in the secret place and then we come out to watch the wonder walking power of the spoken word hmm. unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come decrease decrease god himself put the earth in motion to a decree job 38 don't turn there he said where was thou when i decreed to the sea and i said thus far have you come and no further shall you go that means the sea is the way it is today because a decree kept it was kept there that means flooding is a voice on earth in fraternity with the realm of the spirit programming the sea to move beyond its assigned jurisdiction everything that happens on earth that is negative please hear me there was someone in fraternity with the realm of the spirit who spoke it to happen even the coming of jesus he took anna the prophetess to pray the word to come on earth he didn't just appear when she saw him she said now my soul can find rest what i kept decreeing speaking in the realm of the spirit has come oh my help has come oh my help has come oh my lifting has come ah. oh rise up on your feet shall I take a para to in the next five minutes we're going to pray in the spirit please be serious take the time to pray generate energy in the spirit we're praying under a corporate anointing lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit shake it he speak a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Are you praying? Pray in the spirit. And the Kataka, hallelujah are you ready to pray prayer point number one psalm three psalm three please help us media psalm three and verse one lord how they are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me verse two many there be which say of my soul there is no help for you in God. Verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. 
I decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down in this season I am lifted supernaturally lift your voice and begin to pray but now Lord I just shoot for me my glory the lifter up of my head in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Acts chapter 12 please give it to us quickly Acts chapter 12 from verse 4 the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison And the Bible says they kept him in prison, intending that after Easter, they would bring him out so that the people would kill him. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door that kept the prison verse 7 the bible says and behold the angel of the lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and they smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and the chains fell off from his hand verse 8 and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment before thee and follow me verse 9 the bible says and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but he saw as though he was in a vision 10. Hmm. and when they were past the second the first gate there were three gates the first gate brought him out of the prison the second gate was midway and the bible says they came onto the iron gate that led to the city listen to me this is the gate that stops visibility there is a gate that stops the visibility of man it says the gate leads to the city your business can be there but there is an iron gate listen and the bible says that this gate opened on its own accord when that gate opens the next thing you see is the city is the gate that controls influence are you ready to pray in the name of jesus every gate standing my way of influence and visibility i declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of brass and caught the bars of iron in thunder he has broken the gates of bars and caught the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. 
we are going to pray against delay it was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish if the bridegroom came early all ten of them will see him they all had oil but because the bridegroom delayed the oil of others finished and they missed out you are going to pray lord bring speed to my destiny bring speed to my life lift your voice and pray speed to my life speed to my destiny speed to my life speed to my destiny speed to my business speed to my career someone is praying Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make decrease in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jisrael we are going to pray lord bring speed to my life bring speed to my life lift your voice and begin to prophesy speed 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 someone prophesy someone declare speed to my destiny speed to my destiny speed to my destiny speed to my life Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine. He shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, For thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you i, I have a covenant 
with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit no enchantment no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive lift your voice and pray i am in covenant i am in covenant i am in covenant with the stone i am in covenant I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter three and verse sixteen. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 Shakata Pakoto Pakato, a Prokete Pakoto Pakato. By all means, give me peace. By all means, give me peace. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers... This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feel. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened 
to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said, the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen, this scripture is a deliverance scripture stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know it's none of your business how god will bring you the breakthrough stop troubling your uncle your auntie every time you are saying god visit me your mind is going to a particular person that real estate man leave god to decide who like a movie director let him decide who will come with the blessing are you ready to pray make decrees in this season strangers are feeding my flock strangers are feeding my flock the sons of alien are coming to bless me hell prepare blessings rising from everywhere hallelujah two prayer points and we're done are you ready to pray we're going to pray for nigeria how many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation you see the happenings around this nation the church should not be silent it's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements our assignment is to pray pray like believers with intelligence he said pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we are going to pray we cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people you heard the testimony of our dear auntie here the precious daughter just came out of the her school and these wicked evil people entered a car and that's how they carried her killed other innocent people whoever digs a pit for you i stand by my god and i declare they must enter that pit hallelujah now listen her man was plotting the annihilation of the jews and he was clearly cooperating with vashti and god needed to remove vashti and when god brought esther esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests 
Are we together? For a very long time, we have been largely very selfish. Once trouble does not come near you, you read the news and say, oh, that's fine. It is them. Once it is not your child that is kidnapped, no problem. No. We are going to pray in one minute. Cry to the God of heaven. Father, we declare, let the angels be released over Nigeria. Let the angels be released over this nation. We declare peace. We declare safety. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me make decrees over our lives now. Decrees are powerful. Hallelujah. Prophetic words don't only reveal, they create. They make what is not there to be there. We can call the things that be not and make them to appear. We can call the favor that be not and make it appear. We can call the lifting that be not and make it appear. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every door that has refused to open over your destiny, I declare, let it be open right now. Let it be open right now in the name of Jesus. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are, men instructed by God to hold your hand and lift you. I don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe. I stand by the voice of prophecy and I command them to show up in your life. 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 Listen to me. Every strange pattern and occurrence in any family, circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves, I stand by the God of heaven and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I break those patterns now. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. The Bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him Jabez. And for a while, things would not go well in his life. And one day he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. Is someone ready to pray? Listen, God is a God of increase. It's, it is the will of God that you keep moving from glory to glory. Not that you become stunted in one position. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, expand. Expand to the left. Expand to the right. I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Expand to the east. Expand to the north. Expand to the south. Expand to the west. Expand overseas. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's decree favor. Ah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the kind of favor you have not seen in your life. I stand by the God of heaven if you can believe it. I declare between now and next week Sunday, return with a fearful testimony of favor. I speak it from the depth of my spirit. Return with a fearful testimony of favor. We shift systems, we shift structures, and I command favor. I declare favor. I command favor. I declare favor. Can I pray for your spiritual life?
everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of God you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we are wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah let me pray for those in business i believe in the power of the holy ghost and i believe in miracles i don't care how it has been before now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god what has refused to walk in your hands go back right now and watch wonders happen go back right now and watch wonders happen go, uh, go back and watch wonders happen in the name of jesus christ And whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers one last prayer for tonight there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shall find Joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise thank you Jesus thank you Jesus now very quickly I want to make an altar call two minutes our time is fast spent you are here listening inside the main auditorium and all the overflows down to the basement and outside and then those following from any part of the world the nations you are here and you are saying apostle give me an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of my life it is the will of God that all men come to salvation or please let's minimize movement let's minimize movements and you are here you are saying apostle i want to rededicate my life to jesus christ if you are here we have just two minutes for you please i like you those who are here and then outside i like you to make your way and come right here in front here i want to pray for you celebrate them there are people coming don't be ashamed leave your seat and come to jesus leave your seat come to jesus he can give you a new beginning all who are in the overflow just walk to your um the front of your 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 screen or wherever it is quickly please you can stand for space you can just stand up come to jesus
gives you a new beginning. If you're still coming, come. Win that war tonight. Win that war tonight. Come to Jesus. For everyone who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, for those who are in front, if you're joining them, please join quickly. And then all those who are at the overflows, I salute you and I celebrate you for coming. It is a noblest decision you can make in this side of God's kingdom to hand your life over. That exchange, his strength for your weakness, his life for death. Lift your right hand. Please join them quickly. God bless you as you're coming. Lift your right hand and all of you, please say after me, you're not just reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. I believe in you that you are the son of God. Tonight, I have heard your word. I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. I declare that Jesus is my savior and my king. I declare that eternal life is now in my spirit. I am a child of God. I receive the grace to walk in victory. The power of sin, the power of Satan, the power of the grave is broken over my life. From today, I walk in newness of life. Forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name. Keep the hands lifted. Father, thank you. Young and old, you have brought them all to yourself. I thank you for revealing your love and your compassion even to these ones. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the authority of scripture, that they are recipients of the life of God. From today, I declare that the grace to go forward, the grace to excel is yours. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that the power of sin and Satan is broken over your life. From today, you begin to walk in the newness of life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you very much. Now, very quickly, there's a gentleman smiling at you and waving the placard there. I want you to follow them in concert. Same with all of you at the overflows. They will lead you and have a few of your information and you'll be back. God bless you. Let's celebrate them as they go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, uh, I apologize. I may not have the time. To really appreciate everyone and to welcome we're a house of honor i sincerely apologize if we're not able to do that but just with our father um bishop onubogu um reverend dan came with him from enugu reverend dan stand god bless you thank you thank you the lord bless you the lord bless you many of you know about the man that god did a miracle for in enugu it was a story all around the city that god gave twins after over a decade that's the man standing there Thank you. Hallelujah. God bless you. And for everyone, our politicians, our members of parliament, thank you so much for coming. The Lord bless you. Now we're starting, listen carefully, we're starting a new series next week. And I want you to come prepared. Um, I hope you don't have a problem fasting on Sunday. You can fast and break. Now, I know it's difficult, but trust God for grace. So we are fasting on Sunday. It won't kill you. It won't kill you. In the name of Jesus, God is building us. We'll fast and then anything for children. Children should fast too. Pregnant women and sick people, you don't have to fast. We're fasting for you. Praise the name of the Lord. So Sundays, children can fast from uh, 6 to 12 and then you can break. Adults, please don't break until it's at least maybe 3 or 4. You can hold something and then eat. You will not die. Praise the name of the Lord. What I want to teach you it will require your capacity to be prepared so that you can receive. God is building us. The Lord increase us in Jesus' name. Let's rise up as we close. Thank you so much again. Please, after service, do well to be orderly. I know that there are thousands of people. There are security agencies all around, so you can be sure that you're well protected. The Lord bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. See you on Sunday. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can. 
to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.